Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. And here's the question. How do I lock cells in a Google Sheet after data entry? And I want to show you how you can do that. I'm going to go to some, I'm going to go to some of my temp testing sheets. This is a time zone conversion I was working on. I'm going to dump a bunch of numbers in here. Let's just... Uh, So let's say this range right here, I gotta put the word date here. Let's say this range right here, these three cells, all I'm doing uh, is hit, uh, ho highlight the upper left-hand corner. All I'm doing is highlighting the upper left-hand corner. I hold the shift button, I go right twice, and I go down and highlight just those cells right there. Let's say I want to lock those. Well, the actual term is protect. That's the actual term in Google Sheets. So I highlight that range of cells that I want to protect. I go to data, protect sheets and ranges. Okay. So click on that. Now I can give it a name. These are fixed ages. And then because I already had the range selected, it shows the range right here. Sheet two, this is called sheet two. Um, um, column D, row F through column, excuse me, column D, row five through column F row 11. Column D, row five, through column F, row 11. Right here's 11. So now I have to set permissions. When I click set permissions, I get two options. Show a warning when editing this range. So anytime someone's editing this range, just give me a warning, give the user a warning. Or I can restrict who can edit this range to only myself. Now that's applicable when you are collaborating or sharing the sheet for editing with others. But if you're not sharing it with others, then just simply go show a warning when editing this range and hit done. Now it's saved. I can close this over here because I don't need to see it anymore and watch what happens. I can put in Tom's name down here and put Tom 56, but if I go up here and change Teddy and make him 46, look what happens. Heads up. You're trying to edit part of the sheet that you shouldn't be changed, that shouldn't be changed accidentally. And it asks me, edit anyway, yes or no. So this is how you lock or protect data on a Google Sheet. Now, Sheet 2 is a sheet. Sheet 1 is also a sheet. Look, I can go to Sheet 1. Let's say I don't want any of this to ever change. Never want it to change. I want to highlight the whole... No, let's do it even better than that. Say I don't want this entire sheet to change. Data, protect sheets and range, add a sheet. I want to protect Sheet two, 1. This is Sheet 1. I could do Sheet 2 or Sheet 1. And I can say set permissions and I can say show a warning and hit done. Now, anytime I go to put anything in there, I'm going to get this warning. Anytime I get ready to do anything, I'm going to get this warning. This is the entire sheet that is protected or locked. And over here, all I protected was the specific range. This range, you see, look when I highlight, it shows you in green. The rest of it's wide open for me to do whatever I want until I come back and I edit this and I say I want to go down to row 30 and hit done. Now you can see when I highlight, hover over that, it's going to do that whole area and protect or lock the whole area. In collaboration mode and also to protect my own mistakes, protecting your ranges on a sheet or protecting an entire sheet is a great way to maintain accuracy or the quality of your data. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.